Welcome to Sports Primo and Suave Radio Zcast. I'm Amado Abeta with my other hosts and wonderful partners, Joe Abeta and Aaron Abeta, and we have a very, very special guest. We were talking about volleyball last week as we've done basketball and football here in the, in the city of Santa Fe and throughout northern New Mexico. We have a very special guest and recently graduated um, from Santa Fe High School, star volleyball player, one of the best players to come through Santa Fe and Santa Fe High School, Salome Rock. Solomon, Hi, great to be here. Sorry. That's <laughs> okay. Um, it's great to be here. Thank you guys for having me. So, Solomon, I know that, that you guys were some of the lucky ones, right, to be able to complete your sport, to be able to go to state. What has, uh, from an academic point, uh, from a student life type of point of view, what, what has it been like for you, um, you know, since this uh, pandemic has hit? um how's how's the rest of the year played out for you um I mean it's been very different that's for sure but it's also given me an opportunity to really focus on the academic portion so like for my college I'm even taking a class to get a head start with the program this summer Mm -hmm. so I mean it's had its ups and downs but I mean it hasn't been it hasn't been bad it's been pretty nice what what have you done as far as uh, keeping your skills going. Um, do you have something set up in, in your backyard, like a net or some, you know, some kind of skills, uh, apparatus in the back that you, you know, could keep that velocity of hitting and, and movement? Well, um, I've really been following the workout program that the, my college Newman has sent to us mm-hmm. and uh, my mom and I have been workout buddies together. So that's been really nice. And we, uh, we, run a lot (laughs) so it's really nice to have someone to challenge me to push myself harder and to keep in shape to go to play (laughs) gotcha so so i'm gonna i'm gonna go back to uh when you started playing volleyball how old were you what got you into it and then when did you realize this was something that you were pretty good at and that you perhaps could go on to beyond high school to play Um, Well, so I started playing with my aunt at a very, very young age at the Chaparral team, actually. And then I got into club. I want to say I was nine. Um, And so I've been playing since then. But, you know, my really big influences are definitely my parents and my sister played volleyball. A lot of my family members have played volleyball. And you know, I always went and saw my sister's practices and always thought it was so fun. I would always be the one to go shag the balls for them because I could touch the ball. <laughs> um, but I mean, I just think it's always been a part of our life that we've really enjoyed. And I mean, I'm just so grateful that I've been able to take part in it. And and you, this has kind of been um, these last, I'd say, I don't know, maybe five or six years. Volleyball's really taken off as a... Um, a year-round sport in in Santa Fe and in New Mexico as well. Um, why do you think that is? What 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 brought that to um, volleyball being so much more popular sport here for for girls all over the state? Um, I would say that's definitely you know like like with the high school, you know how we've had successful season that the audience then sees, oh, you know, this looks fun. This looks like something that my child or I could do, you know? So I think that's what's creating it, like that initial spark. And then once they get going, it's just, you can't stop. It's just so much fun. Who would you say is responsible for, I mean, the technique for your serving technique and for your velocity hitting, who who played a big part in that development? Uh, Um, that would be my um, club ARVC. My coach, Fred, he did such a wonderful job with coaching, and I learned so much under him. I mean, I wouldn't, I would not be the player that I am today without learning from him and playing for him. And so he's really the one that you know influenced everything that has been going on. At what point did you feel? like it became instinctive for you that you were out there and you were having being able to have a good time but play with the intensity that you you do play with when did you start to feel that like at Um, what point 
the last several years, actually, the game has become really fun when it becomes intense and exciting. Um, before, you know, I think it was just because we were so young that it was kind of hard to get into just the fun part instead of the, you know, part where you want to win, like you have to win. Mm -hmm. But these last few years, even though we haven't won or, you know, just something doesn't go our way, it's still a blast to be able to play with those girls or just to fine tune our skills. Hi folks, Morley Fletcher here from Santa Fe Kia. As a COVID-19 update, our service and parts department are open Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 and Saturday from 8 to noon for all your service and repair needs, not only on Kias, but all makes and models. We are also offering complimentary pickup and delivery of vehicles needing service within a 40 mile radius. Santa Fe Kia's virtual showroom is open at santafekia.com for online research, availability, online purchases, and delivery of new or pre-owned vehicles. Agents are standing by via email, text, or phone to help you virtually. Santa Fe Kia, where we treat you different. What's Kasasa? It's a catchy word for earning cash that just might make you want to dance. Get paid for doing simple things you'd do anyway. That's free Kasasa checking. Get Kasasa at State Employees Credit Union. My daughter and I love spending time together. We visit the doctor once a year for checkups, and if she does get sick, we're there more often. Dr. King is a great doctor. He likes to joke with her and make her feel comfortable if she's nervous about the visit. It's really wonderful to see children grow and flourish. General pediatric care is ideal for kids to put them on that track to succeed in school and to succeed later on in life. I think Abigail's had a great health journey thanks to Southwest Care. I was going to ask, um, just like reflecting on your high school now, I mean, you guys graduated just yesterday, right? There was, uh, yesterday was kind of the last day of school and high school goes by so fast. Um, and there's a lot of life and growing up that happens in high school. And you, you've played volleyball for since eighth grade at first Santa Fe high school. What are, what are some of your favorite memories of, Santa Fe High, uh, volleyball, maybe some memorable games uh, in particular? Um, I mean, you know, this last game against Sandia, that was a phenomenal game. There has never been so much energy and excitement, not only in my team and within the coaches, but in the audience. I mean, that was just an amazing thing to experience. But, you know, one of the most grateful things I am for is that Josie was the first coach to allow me to play all the way around and really gave me the chance to step up. Go ahead, okay. Oh, okay. Um, so, Baron, you, you got one of my questions out of the way right there about, you know, your favorite memory as a volleyball player. Um, what was – who was your influence when it comes to volleyball with, like, an athlete, sports – you know, it could be any any athlete, but who's your influence that you uh, that you really look up to for for athletics? Um, I mean, there isn't really a set one person. I, you know, highly respect all people who have the drive to fine tune their skills and go after what they believe that is right in their sports. And you know, my parents really got me into the sport and. I mean, I just think I have a high amount of respect for everyone who can go through this and find their sport that they love. So you don't, so was there any volleyball players that you look at if you look at people out of state or you'll, do you ever, do you ever look at some of their techniques and kind of think, well, let me take a little piece of that or take a little piece of this from somewhere. Do you ever do that? Um, I have when I watch like college volleyball games. I mean, I'll see them, you know, say they squat lower in a block than I do. I'm like, oh, you know, I should do that. That would probably help me jump higher. So, I mean, I definitely do that for sure. And are you are you seeing a difference right now in a, in your training program, getting ready for college? As you know, it probably is a little bit different, but do you see a difference going getting ready for college as opposed to a high school season? Um, what, definitely. I mean, the college program that they've sent over to me for the workout, I mean, it's very, um, very good. I mean, it's gotten me very strong. And um, 
there's a lot of weightlifting. And as I mentioned earlier, a lot of sprinting and running. But um, yeah, it's, it's very different. <laughs> so how was it when that first school contacted you and contacted your parents and they said, hey, we're interested in Salome coming and playing for us afterwards? And then it kind of, how did that, when did, when did that become a reality um, for you at, at what grade? And, and how did you feel about that? Um, I want to say it start like the communication between me and colleges was in 10th grade. Um, you know, it was, it was kind of, it was overwhelming, not going to lie, but it was also really, really exciting to be able to see like, Oh, like there's people that are interested in me. I I have options. Um, it was was nerve wracking at the same time at a a club tournament or something like that, that that happened or, um, well, so there's been through club tournament tournaments, um, through emailing, calling. It's just, you know, it was kind of hard because you, as a player, you're the one who really has to put yourself out there to the coaches. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's so many players that they're not, it's unlikely that they're going to find you. Mm-hmm. So that was the hard part is having to go find those colleges and try and getting in touch with them. Yeah. I don't know if you know the statistic, but as far as playing college, a college sport, Volleyball is the second hardest to play in, in post high school, basketball being the first one. So mm-hmm. that's I a pretty good that. accomplishment there for what you're doing, you know? Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. I did not know that. That's really kind of you to say. Yeah. 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 So you're going to Newman college in Kansas. Yes. Um, Newman university in Wichita, Kansas. Newman. Okay. So, um, so, what, what do you think you'll be missing about Santa Fe? I think what I'll really miss is just our Hispanic culture. I mean, it's such a big part of our everyday life, and I'm going to miss the mountains, that's for sure. <laughs> so you've been out to Newman? Yes, uh, we've seen it a couple times, and then it's really nice. My brother lives in Kansas, close to okay. the, um, a couple hours from the university, so we go as often as possible. My experience over here at San Fe Community College has been wonderful. The class sizes are much smaller than a big university. My classmates were great. The teachers were really supportive. When you need help with something, they're there to help you. I had heard in the community about SFCC and it's just been incredible how affordable it is. People care about why they're here and it kind of shines through in every aspect of the culture. We are located at 100 Catron Street, uh, about a block and a half down from our old location. I have a great team. We strive to make sure that people's needs are taken care of, that they're catered to. The success that we have is because of the customer service that we provide for them. We've been recognized as an award-winning office for a customer service that we provide to the public. We have implemented a lot of technology to help our constituents and their everyday needs and help simplify what we do so that the public understands what we provide for them. The first time I heard of Southwest was just word on the street. As soon as you walked in the door, you know, they, everybody was very welcoming. That was my main concern about even getting on prep. It would have to have been something that I would have been confident and secure in. Prep is pre-exposure prophylaxis, and it is a way of preventing HIV with a single daily pill. When you see somebody go from super overwhelmed to feeling like they can do this, that empowerment that comes from it, that's one of my favorite things. What, what are some of the things you like to do besides volleyball? What are some of, of your of hobbies? Maybe what was your favorite uh, subjects in high school? Things like that. Um, well, my favorite subjects in high school were math and... Oh, come um, on. Just Is that because mom's listening? <laughs> <laughs> well, my mom being a math teacher definitely helps. But no, definitely math has always been a favorite. And then I've always liked English also. Um, but one of, one of my favorite hobbies to do is just, you know, anything outdoors. I love to go hiking, camping. We love to go horseback riding. Oh, wow. And yeah, it's just, but I also love to read. So it's pretty different. <laughs> right on. That's cool. 
to be well balanced, huh? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, and it's just, it's so great to just get out and be part of nature. No doubt. Yeah, there's uh, the mountain. There's not many mountains in Kansas, huh? No, not at all. <laughs> but there's some, maybe there's some good uh, trails and other things you can explore out there. It's got to be exciting. But that's cool, Salome. It's been, um, it's been a real, it's been fun and a privilege watching you play these last few years at Santa Fe High. I, it was, um, I don't, I didn't know a lot about volleyball when we were doing play by play and coach Clayton really taught me a lot. And, um, it was just so fun. I think you're right. Like the electricity of the, of the crowd. One yeah. of my favorite games I think that I've covered is, is when you guys played Hobbs last year in the state oh, tournament. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been as emotionally uh, involved, nervous, watching a game. I mean, you, uh, your team was just so, um, yeah, it, I, I, I felt like I became uh, just a huge fan of you guys. So thank you for that. Thank you. That yeah, means a lot. It's going to be when a player like you uh, leaves a program, it creates a big hole for us because, you know, we become fans – watching you and we have expectations of excellence when we we go and cover these games because of players like you and so you are going to be missed and we just appreciate what you've given us as fans and as broadcasters these these last years of uh covering so thank you so thanks much again. well yeah. and if you want to come to one of my games up in kansas you can we might do that take a road <laughs> trip. But if i'm in for a long drive yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Good luck. Good thank luck. you so much. This is Sports Primo Suave Radio Zcast, and thank you, Salome, so much. Um, like the guys were saying, it was just a pleasure. You were one of the best interviews that we ever um, had the pleasure to to get to interview throughout our years. You were always so graceful. Uh, you were so personable as well and articulate, and you're one of the players we're going to miss a lot. And like Baron said, you really brought volleyball um, – to the forefront for us and we really we actually enjoy the game and you know really enjoy watching the game because of your contribution and the same thing for me watching that Hobbs game that that's in my top five sports primo games of all time just being so emotionally involved so thank you for being with us thank you so much I, that really means a lot thank you